YouTube Studio finally has an update that makes adding end screens to your videos much easier during the upload process. And I wanted to show you exactly how to use it in this video. And if it's your first time here, I make easy to follow social media and tech videos on this channel every single day. So please consider subscribing. So during the upload process, when you come on your YouTube here and press upload a video, it's going to take you to upload a video page where you select your video file to upload. Once you do that, it takes you to the next page where you type in the details like title, description, thumbnail, playlist, and tags. And then when you press next, it's going to bring you to this video element. Now, previously before this upload, it will bring you to the old YouTube studio to do this. But now if you press add right here, it's going to take you to this platform where you could add an end screen. So let me walk you through this. The other option that you saw next to it, apply template. If you have this TubeBuddy plugin installed, which is a free plugin with paid upgrades, and I'll link to it in the description, you could just press this and you don't have to press add and it makes it a much easier process once you create these templates. But right now let's press add here. And this is how it works. You have a bunch of different pre-made templates here by YouTube to make the end screen process a lot easier. So for example, if I choose this one here, I'll choose this one, and it adds one video here and one video here and my logo here so people could click this to subscribe. And I could change all these and even move them around if I want to. So for example, right now by default, it's gonna show people the most recent upload when they watch this video. It's gonna show them in the last 20 seconds of the video and it's gonna show them best for viewers. So that's just YouTube making that decision and it's gonna show my profile icon to subscribe. That's what you're seeing in this window. So to change one of these, for example, if I wanna change the most recent, I select it, it's gonna turn blue, and I'll come on this side, on the left side, and I could either make this most recent upload, which is what it is right now, best for viewers, if I didn't have this already selected, or choose specific video. If I press this right here, it's gonna give me an option to choose a video manually. So the video I just made is about coding, so I could choose another video that's about learning how to code here. I'll just choose this one and it adds it like this instead. Some of the other things you'll see here, this timeline right here on the bottom, it usually adds these three elements. In this case, I chose three different elements on the bottom of the page here on this timeline and they start with 20 seconds left of the video. So you could actually drag this here and make it shorter. You can't make it any longer. The end screen only appears in the last 20 seconds of the video, but you can make it appear in the last 10 seconds. And you could do this individually too. So if I select this one, I could maybe drag this instead of all three and those elements would come one at a time. And then this is your video and audio and where it lines up. So you could preview it if you want by just pressing play here and it's gonna preview it right here to see where they come up and make sure they don't cover your face. If you wanna move any of these elements, you can move them around. And if you wanted to do this manually, you could always add an end screen element. All these are elements. The video is an element, playlist or channel. Right now you see the video and you see a channel. So right now I could add a playlist for example and I'll add a coding playlist and you'll add it over here. I usually recommend one or two videos here and not three. It's gonna make it a little confusing for people to know where to click. So I usually do three. If I wanna delete one of these elements, I could just press delete when I have it selected and it disappears. Now I have the two and my channel icon. When I'm ready, I could go ahead and press save and it's been added and I get that check mark here. Again, the TubeBuddy apply a template icon. Once I set a template, I could just press this and it will do that process for me. Now I could press next and I'll go to my final visibility where I could make sure this is public and I could publish this video. And it's that simple to end end screens now while you're in the upload process of a video. If you have already uploaded a video and you wanna add end screen, you could come to this detail section and edit it. And right on this page, if you come over here, you'll have an end screen option. So you could go ahead and press that and it'll bring you back to the same window where you could alter end screens if you already have them or add new ones if this is completely blank. So that's how you would do it if you haven't uploaded an end screen to an existing video. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.